Hi, listen family. How are you? Hope your week is nice. I am sorry for my inconsistency, but life is happening a bit too fast lately. So the vlogs, um, the videos are a bit on a pause, but I'm trying. I am creating a schedule. Apparently, I need to make a list of like 50 videos, like every day, you know what I'm doing. Because sometimes you want to make a video and then you just think and you're like, okay, can I talk about this? Can I talk about this? And you just don't have enough content. So you're like, let me just forfeit it and think through, research through, make a video that my audience will surely enjoy. So today I'm talking about people. This is tea. This is gossip <laughs> about my life. So listen. <laughs> let me share me with you and i'm sure you people have gone through something like this so there was a story going around that i am a loose woman because i went to one of my former in-laws house with a friend of mine so this woman calls me and she's watched my youtube videos and she's like can you come help me make a video on my show so nicely gracefully i'm like okay i called my friend uh, and I'm like, okay, I call my friend and I'm like, can we go to this woman's house? You babysit for me. Let me make the video. I even send her like a set of questions based on the video that she was supposed to make. We discuss everything. When I go, she she, oh, she was supposed to meet at the shop. Then she's like, no, I'm going to the shop, come to the house. So I go to the house with my friend. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I seem not to have girlfriends. I don't know why, but I just don't have girlfriends. I have guy friends, like a thousand of them. And I find it comfortable being with guys because it's less drama. I've had drama with girls and I'm like, girls and I, it doesn't work. I won't try making it work. It's just that it doesn't work. So I go to her house with my friend. We talk, she wants tea about my life. And I'm like, oh, I just dismiss her. So we just talk and then she, I, she we talk and I tell her, she asks me, how are you doing? And I'm like, I'm fine. You, you move. And I'm like, yeah, I'm good. Everything is working out nicely. I thank God. And I specific, specifically tell her one statement. I know that a woman can be anything she wants to be in life. And I am glad I'm graceful enough and I thank God because I'm the kind of woman when situations and things go wrong in my life, I can always bounce back. And I thank God a lot for that. So I tell her like, um, what did I tell her? <laughs> There's a message that just spoke. <laughs> so I got lost. So I tell her, um, a woman does not need a man to define her. A woman can define herself based on her efforts, based on her attitude, based on her confidence. And we have a nice cup of tea. It's in the afternoon. Eventually me and my friend leave because clearly we're not making the video from the house. It should be about the shop. It should be done at the shop. So this lady, she calls the next day and I'm like, you're clearly not serious about life. Like I planned this, I sent you a question, a questionnaire, you make me meet you at your house. You're not even paying me. I'm like, this is my first sponsorship. You don't want to pay me. You want me to get your customers and then give me commission. I'm a little bit too busy for all that. The commission is not you see now. <laughs> so... I go on with my life. My friend goes on with his life. We just move on with life. Then the next thing is, um, I get a call from somebody saying, oh, so-and-so saw you with some guy and she's saying that you, this is your boyfriend. For those who know me, uh, life hasn't been so precious this year. I've been up, I've been through some stuff, especially with my relationships and I'm on like a, a plateau at the moment. But this woman has golden balls like guts beyond guts now she's gone telling people that oh she's moved on from her relationship now she's with this guy she even came with this guy and this is the part that pinches the most i told her a woman does not need a man to make it in life to define her she changed the story on me and says i say that a woman needs a man a woman cannot live with a man without a man so i'm like what is that and I'm like, whoever tells me the gossip, I'm like, okay, I went with so-and-so, you know him. So, you know, he's my friend. So what is all this about? So I'm like, okay, let me call this one and just ask her, like, okay, I really think we are grown up and she's even older than I. You should learn to mind your own business and you should not really change stories on someone. That's what I'm saying. No matter what kind of good things you do in life, people will find things to say and you'll be like, what is this? Why is my life biting you so much? Like, what do you want to see? That kind of a situation. 
So I'm like, if I call this one, she'll still distort information because this was a conversation between me and her and she's gone and distorted it. I can't even say anything because it's her and her word and me. And of course, when I ask, she'll be like, no, I didn't say, but she already said. So I decided, let me text her. So I'm like, okay, girl, you've decided to say that I am a loose woman, that I'm a slut, that I'm... I'm just all these, um, I have no morals and all these. Because she said like a, a lot of nasty things about me. So I just texted her and I told her, okay, now since you've decided to just call me Madam Sedatre, be careful with your own husband before I also seduce him. It's called a composition initiator. Someone gets such a message from you and she's very sure that when she was gossiping, whoever she was telling stuff about you, you'd never find out. Of course, they'd be like, okay, what's this about? But she knows. She's like, um, I'm like, okay, you went and told so and so that I said I cannot live without a man. And you went and said that I came to your house with some man who's apparently my boyfriend. I don't know who gave you that, that juice. That tea you were sipping, I don't know if you're sipping it on your own or we're sipping it together. I don't know. And she tells me, oh, I, I, to, I talked to so and so, but I didn't say that. Oh, even initially, she's like, no, I am too busy with my life to be concerned with anybody's life. I don't have time for gossip. And I'm like, oh, clearly you, you just gossip a lot. And this gossip, I'm not liking it. So we talk and she's like, oh, I talked to so and so, but I didn't say that. And I'm like, oh, okay, now I don't guess. Anyway, at the end of the day, it's gossip. And even though I give, I make a million dollars and I donate it to everybody, Somebody will still complain. Maybe they got a thousand shillings and they wanted a million shillings. Maybe they got a one million, they wanted ten million. It's nature. People will just talk no matter what you do. If you do good, they'll talk. If you do bad, they'll still talk. So I just take screenshots of the conversation. Like I'm chatting with her. I'm chatting with her on Facebook. So I take screenshots of the whole conversation. I send it to the other one, the one now who came to give everybody juice like oh you know i'm not talking to her because apparently she's a loose woman she has this very hot 1000 boyfriends so and so said it and she actually went to her house with these boyfriends so i sent her screenshots and i'm like okay this is what this girl i asked and i i sent the conversation to the gossiper gossiper number two there's gossiper number one and gossiper number two so gossiper number one chief gossiper has said she knows nothing about what i'm saying so gossiper number two is not talking to me because she was told i'm a loose woman so i sent her the whole conversation and i'm like you see she's changed her mind she's like i don't even know what you're talking about i'm too busy with my life she's just turned tables on her so gossiper number two does not even call me or ask me anything. She calls me now. Gossiper number three who told me the information. She calls gossiper number three and is like, I told you about so and so. Why did you tell her? And I'm like, girl, do you know how small this world is? When you talk about someone, it will go around back to the person you're talking about. That's just mm -hmm. nature. So gossiper number three calls me and tells me, oh, you know, gossiper number two called. But anyway, uh, I put her in her place. So I'm like, okay, this is very interesting. Gossiper number three was telling me gossip about gossiper number one and two to start trouble between me and gossiper one and two. I feel stupid because I'm like, gosh, I fell for it. Why did I even bother? I would have been like, oh, well, who knows? I'm Elizabeth Taylor and some Beyonce. So if I'm that fantabulous, let me just live the fantabulous life. But lesson is people are people. Don't let them get to you. When you know what you want in life, strive for it. Focus on it and don't be bothered by what people say because they will say things that you're like, wow. This is like a, she's a family friend. She's actually family. And I'm like, okay, now how would I go with some guy to my family and he's my boyfriend? Like, those are golden balls. Like, taking your boyfriend to your in-laws. Wow, Kami, you must be one of a kind if you can take some man to your in-laws who's apparently your boyfriend. <sighs> anyway, that's just my weekend. That's what was my weekend. And that's what was my mind. I know I'm mainly informational, but I also have story time. And that's my story time. I was actually called a loose woman. It really hurts. It stings. Because I think I have more morals than morals themselves. <laughs> unethical <laughs> but anyway life happens to all of us and don't let anybody get to you just stick to your lane know your stuff 
and learn how to laugh. Laugh, laugh. <laughs> laugh. Hoo -hoo. Just laugh. When things, some things, some funny stuff happens, just laugh it off. So this is Alicia and keeping it real as always. Remember, you're beautiful within and without. Have a lovely week. I'll, I'll keep in touch. I'm just working on some really good content. I'm thinking I'm at almost 400 subscribers. I need to keep level up. Eh? By the time I'm getting to a thousand, I want to be on this other level that's just a queen level because I am queen at least at the end of the day. Subscribe, comment, like, and share. Adios, amigo. Lots of love. Bye-bye.